I've been eating bad, and I know you've probably been eating bad too, but don't worry, I'm gonna get you and me right with the stuffed bell pepper recipe that I know you'll love. Packed with flavor, quick and easy, and the perfect weeknight recipe that I know you'll love. I don't have the apron on, so it's gonna be a quick day in the kitchen. Let's get to work. Our recipe begins with poblano peppers, aka pasilla peppers. Um, you don't wanna put any oil on them. Keep them dry, wash and clean them once you get them from a grocery store, but keep them dry. Put them on a baking sheet and we're gonna put them in the oven on high broil for three minutes. Let one side get blistered and then we're gonna flip them over, do another three minutes and then we'll take them out. You don't want any oil because you really wanna keep these intact because this is gonna be the vessel that we're cooking in them and I don't want them going soft or mushy and it just not hold up. So don't put any oil in it. Throw it in there for six minutes, three minutes per side and then I'll show you all the next step. Y'all like that? Y'all see what we're doing? <laughs> y'all like that? There y'all go. Three minutes, six minutes later, I'll see y'all. And after six minutes in total, this is what they look like. Nice and charred up. And there's gracious, y'all see that? Looking good. So we're gonna let these rest just a couple minutes to cool off. I'm not gonna burn myself going right into it and trying to pressure. I'm not gonna do that today. So I'm gonna let these cool three to five minutes, just let them cool down so I can touch them and cut them open. Preheat your oven at 350 because that's what we're gonna be baking them at next. Um, but yeah. In a second, I'll go see y'all. After they're cool enough to touch, we're gonna just do a little bit of surgery on them. Be gentle with it. You do not wanna cut all the way through it. We just wanna open this up enough. I'm nervous too, guys, because I don't wanna cut too deep into this thing. So we can go a little deeper in it, actually. We'll be good. Okay, 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 good. So just be gentle, be gentle when you open it up. I know I keep saying that, but I only got six of them. I don't wanna rip one and I can't have one. So be gentle with it out all those seeds i just use a spoon to do it and this is why i really like chipotle forks because one they're soft but hard enough to really cut through stuff so they come in clutch so every time i go to chipotle i'll be stocking up on them y'all know that though okay so get out all these seeds scrape it out i forgot that game that we used to play as a kid what was it is it doctor operation they had to be super gentle or like buzzed you what if like real life surgery was like that? Wouldn't that be just <laughs> be crazy? You under the medicine and then you just feel a buzz? That would be wild. Okay, so you wanna scrape out all of these and I have a container right next to me, just throw them in there and you just rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna knock out all of these and then I'll check back with y'all in a second. Two, one of my favorite pots. Y'all know I've been using my cast iron like crazy, super versatile. If you don't have one, please, please get one. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to that and then we're gonna go in there with some onions. Can't go wrong with onions. And we're gonna let these saute five minutes just until soft and then we'll come back, season them up. But get this party started and then everything else is truly downhill from there. That's good. Love my onions, for real. And after a couple minutes and I see these onions are softer, we're gonna go in there with garlic and a plethora of spices, a little bit of chili powder. Not too much. If you want more heat, add that. So smoked paprika. Use smoked paprika, don't use regular paprika. A little bit of cumin, a little bit of Mexican touch. I really do like cumin so much. Of course, we need a pinch of salt. And then to top everything off, you can't forget the pepper. I feel like this is a great intro to eating healthy as well. It's not super healthy where it's like, uh, I don't know how I can take it out. It's not straight chicken and rice and broccoli. So this is a good way to slowly start getting back on track, start eating healthy in the kitchen again. Cool, so we're gonna let these toast up. Maybe another couple seconds. It's starting to get fragrant already. It smells delicious. And after those are toasted up, we're gonna go in there with a can of diced tomatoes. All that stuff. Ooh wee! It's smelling good in the cribbo. Just a couple minutes. We'll let everything get to know each other. Say what's up, hello, how y'all doing? Just a couple of minutes like this, and then we'll come back at the chicken, the cheese, sour cream, a bunch of great stuff going into this. Don't feel intimidated too, guys. If you don't like anything, like always, guys, you can substitute it. This recipe is so versatile. If you want barbecue chicken, I don't know why you put barbecue chicken in it. I'm sure it might be good, but if that's what you want, put it in there. If you want lemon pepper chicken, whatever the case may be, do that. Make yourself happy. If you want to use ground chicken, ground turkey, whatever the case may be, just do that. I just want you to get back in the gym, get healthy, eat right, health as well. If you're not eating right, you're not living right, period. Once some of that juice has evaporated, bubbled off, we can go ahead and turn this down to low heat. And we're gonna add a bunch of different things. So we're gonna add a little bit of sour cream, probably like half a cup. And guys, like always, I don't even know if I mentioned it, the recipe will be down below, so don't worry about writing anything down. 
probably like half a cup. That looks good to me. That's like half a cup to y'all. I think so. And then go in there with a juice of one lemon or lime. At that, you just want to give this a nice mix to combine. We'll let this combine real quick before we add any other special ingredients. And once that's combined, we're going to go in there with two rice cups. You can use frozen rice. You can use day old rice. Just use some type of rice. We're going to throw that in there. And you can always use more or less. If you want more rice in your recipe, you can do that. We're going to go in there with some chicken. So this chicken I got from Costco, a rotisserie chicken. That's the beautiful thing about cooking. Make your life easier in the kitchen. I went to Costco, picked it out, and I just shredded it the night before. Of course, you can use whatever chicken you have in the fridge. You can bake a chicken yourself and use that. But why, wait, why work harder when you can just do something like this and it still be flavorful? Costco got pretty good chickens too. I'm not even going to lie. So we can add all that to the mixture, to the party. I like to separate it by like dark and white meat. So this is a little bit of the white meat, mostly dark meat, but white meat's good too as well. Add a nice little bit. And then making our life just that much easier, we're using frozen corn. We're gonna add about a cup of this. Again, very versatile. You can adjust this to whatever preference that you're feeling. And then just give this thing a big old mix. And now you just wanna cook this for the next couple minutes. You really want everything to be heated through before we throw it in the uh, pepper, just so you make sure everything is, you know, warmed up, incorporated. They get to know each other very well. I started watching Stranger Things. I'm on season three. I watched one whole season every Sunday. So for the last two weeks was season one, and then last week was season two. This Sunday, which is a Sunday ago for y'all, season three. And it's, I was, this is an honest thought that I was thinking about when I was watching the show. It was like, where are these kids' parents at? Like, for Lucas, I'm like, bro, I know how my parents were growing up and they didn't play that. These kids are going through traumatic life events and their parents are like clueless to it. I know obviously it's a TV show and it's exaggerated, but I'm like, yo, my parents would not be cool with this. And then, Will, don't let me get lost. My parents for sure not letting me out the house again. They're not letting me out their sight. That is crazy. That's the only thing I'll be thinking about when I watch the show. Dustin's probably my favorite character though. That show's go -day. I don't know why I'm so late to the party. I'm really just happy. I got a camera here so I can like talk to y'all face to face. Let me know if y'all like the third camera. We doing something nice, but we're gonna let that heat up next couple minutes and then we'll come back, stuff our peppers, call it show. We gotta add the cheese. So after that heats up, then we'll come back and add the cheese. Once all that stuff is heated through, I'm gonna drop that. Turn off the spoon, not the spoon. <laughs> Turn off the burner and then we're gonna go in there with some cheese. I'm using Montuary Jack cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. Usually I'm a cheddar OG, but I wanted some versatility. I wanted to be different today. But again, guys, you can add whatever cheese you want. You can even use bag cheese if you really wanted to. I like to grate my own cheese because of the anti kicky agents that comes in bag cheese. Don't want that in my food, but it's your food, so do it how you please. And we're just gonna let this come together. Once I mix this up, we're gonna go ahead and set the skillet to the side. And we're gonna get ready to stuff these peppers. I'm OD gonna be talking to y'all so much now. I feel like I'm breaking the fourth wall talking to y'all. I'm pumped. And the camera follow me around too. <laughs> I'm different. Make sure y'all subscribe too, guys. Let's run this thing up. Let's do this thing. I'm trying to get better for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to talk slower. I know y'all be in my comments talking about Dre. You talk too fast. I'm trying to talk slower. I really do. I've been talking fast all my life. You know, I really want to tell y'all, y'all need to listen faster. Be honest. But. It's all love. I really do appreciate all the feedback, like always. I'm never going to knock it. I'm always going to implement it. I want y'all to enjoy the videos just as much as I do, truly. So now that that's done, we scoot this to the side and get ready to stuff our peppers. Now this is the fun part. We just get to stuff our peppers. So take a little bit of that mixture. We really want to stuff these peppers. Make sure it is filled up because we have a lot in here. And honestly, I'm going to have some fun with it. Like I'm not even going to use a spoon. I was going to try to be pretty about it, but we're not doing that today. We're going to get our hands dirty. We're gonna make it quick too, because that's just gonna take way too much time in. Who has time for all that? I mean, I do, but I really don't at the same time. So it's just stuff each one of them up. I'm gonna stuff these to the brim. Like as much as I can get out of it, I'm gonna stuff in it. And of course you wanna wait for your mixture to cool down, like for real. I have a, like chef hands, I like to say, so I can handle quite a bit of heat. But if you don't, obviously you can always use a spoon. This is how you get chef hands. You really gotta burn yourself, you know what I'm saying? So we'll turn that around just so for the aesthetic. And then now it's just a stuffing game. For real, stuff it like a, you know what? Stuff it good. Little by little, pepper by pepper, be gentle. And also guys, you really wanna taste and adjust for seasoning. So if you know, 
you want a little bit more salt on it before you stuff it do that pepper seasonings whatever the case may be this is where you do it because once it's baked you got the final product and there's so many good stuffs out right now but the show that's got me hooked right now is presumed innocent like that show is so good i'm on season three or not season three but episode three right now at the time i'm recording this and i'm locked in like i wish i could just sit at home and watch tv all day like i would so do that like there's nothing better than watching a tv show especially a good tv show and then you like fall in love with the characters you really kind of at least me maybe i'm different but i envision myself in the show as the main character and i'm like damn what would i really do inside that like stranger things that's good that's my sunday watch hard knocks is on football is back i'm super excited i've been watching the olympics go crazy comment down below what event has kept you most intrigued during the olympics for me obviously basketball but i watched a little bit of diving like synchronized diving yo that is crazy that's skillful like there's so much talent in this world for real like that is <laughs> that is so cool how they can do that like we're literally seeing the best at what people do at this age it's so cool and so cool i had to add it to my bucket list i gotta go to the olympics now like that's just something i have to do now because that looks so cool and it's all around the world. I know they travel to different places. I would love to go to Paris. That's on my bucket list. But stuff these up, I'll quit yapping and then I'll show y'all what to do next. And then we really have the home stretch after this, after your peppers are stuffed, just looking absolutely beautiful. Literally all of that went into this. Like I used every single drop of this. And then to finish this off, we're gonna go over the top of it with just a little bit more of that cheese, just to cover everything up. I love cheese too, for real guys. Again, if you don't wanna do add more cheese, don't do it. It's completely up to you. Don't judge me how I'm doing it. This is what makes my food good to me in my opinion. Do what makes food good to you in your opinion. But again, you're more than welcome to comment. That's disgusting, whatever you feeling. I'm gonna clap back, but it's all love, for real. I just wanna challenge y'all to cook more food at home. You know, that's my goal. As long as I get y'all to cook, I'm super happy. So now that our peppers just look absolutely wonderful, stuffed to the brim, packed with the mixture, cheese on top of it, we're gonna throw this in the oven at 350 for 15, 18, maybe even 20 minutes. And then those last two minutes or an extra two minutes, turn it on the broil and let that cheese get bubbly, get some color on it, and it's gonna be spectacular. But I'm gonna see y'all in a second, throw this in the oven, and then it's time to eat. After 16 minutes in the oven, an additional two minutes on broil, this is what we have just looking absolutely beautiful and amazing, piping hot. So I'm gonna let these cool probably a minute or two and then we'll bite in it and ready to go. I wanna show you how good it looks though. Good Lord. It's time to dig into this. I've already had little bits and pieces of like the chicken mixture scraps. Tastes amazing. It's kind of like a text mix twist, but super good. Before I take a bite, I gotta do a shameless plug. I'm starting to get another YouTube channel. It's a vlog channel. so. It'll be just DeRay. I'll probably link it down below. It might pop it up on the screen, but if y'all wanna see more about DeRay, what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, things like that, make sure you go show love, subscribe. I'm sure it'll be entertaining. I don't know when the first video is gonna be. I don't know what the video is gonna be like, but show love, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, I don't know how to eat this thing. I think I'm just gonna pick it up and take a bite and just get messy with it. What do y'all say? Cool. All right, cheers to y'all. Eat great food. You don't even have to hit the gym after you eat this. That's how healthy it is, you know? More life. Mm -hmm. That's just too good. Like, <laughs> I really don't have any other words to describe this other than amazing. Like, it, it really doesn't get better than this. It tastes great. It's quick and easy. It's gonna get you looking better, feeling better. You might even knock off a couple pounds. Like, that's the deal, right? Like always, guys, I'm not gonna overreact. Try this for yourself, make this for yourself, and you have the same reaction, the same results that I'm having. Like always, guys, I truly do appreciate all the love and support. If you like what you see, comment down below what I can do next, what I can do different. Y'all know, run it up, send it to a friend, be like, Dre the Cook is different. He's having so much fun over there. Um, but come back next week, I got another banger for y'all. Peace. I'm not coming to turn off the camera, I'm gonna eat. And I'm so happy I got another camera to break like the fourth wall and talk to y'all directly. So y'all, I'm gonna look at my hands the whole time. I know I got good looking hands, but I'm about to smash this. And honestly, I've been eating that cake I made last week. I ate too much of it. I put too much weight on. So this is really a step in the right direction for me, for real, for real, guys. Like this is real food that I'm eating, trying to get right with. So take it from me. All right, one more bite, guys. It's light. It doesn't feel too heavy when you bite into it. 
Mm, my goodness. And you can make this like even more healthier by substituting sour cream. That's full fat sour cream. Obviously, you take that out. Instead of Monterey Jack, use some type of fat-free cheese. And you already have something way healthier. And then if you really wanted to be healthy, use chicken breast. But the difference between chicken breast and chicken thighs, not that big of a difference for real. Trust me on that. So you'll be fine with some chicken thighs. But all right, I'm turning y'all off. I got a busy, busy day shooting a vlog today. So peace.